My dear students, welcome to week two from Individuals and Societies course. Let me start telling you what we're going to do throughout this week. On day one of week two, we are going to introduce what is the monarchy like in Japan. The monarch in Japan is known as the emperor. He is the head of a constitutional monarchy. The emperor is regarded as the highest authority in the Japanese religion of Shinto and said to be, said to be a descendant of the sun goddess um, Amaterasu. Now, it is uh, known that the monarchy in Japan is the oldest monarchy in the whole world. Now, on day two, we will have a pretest. Um, the pretest is to assess um, how much information, how much knowledge have you gained from last year's uh, social studies course. Um, the pretest, you don't need to study for it. And uh, the mark of the pretest is not going to be put in your uh, report. It's only to know how much you. Uh, how much knowledge you have gained and how we as teachers can help you to develop this knowledge and build on it. Now, on day three, we're going to discuss um, the similarities and differences between uh, the emperors or the power of, of the emperor in Japan at different times in history. We're going to start discussing the monarchy in the UK. We're going to introduce the Commonwealth and we're going to have a think pair share activity where we are going to think of any reason why the monarchy may be popular or unpopular. Thank you very much. I can't wait to see you uh, and hear your, um, what do you think, your perspective about monarchy, about monarchy in Japan, about monarchy in the UK. We're going to compare and contrast between both monarchies. Um, thank you for, very much for listening and love and respect.